Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. Um, let's say you have a handheld, like this TID Radio H3, and you transmit with it. And as you transmit, you're interfering with a fire department or a police department around you. Or maybe you're involved in a fire and you're in the command center and you're helping out by doing radio communications with other hams, which I've done a few times. What if this thing is dirty and every time you hit the press to talk button, you're transmitting on fire frequencies and the ham radio frequencies all at the same time? Think that's not possible? Stay tuned. Well, let's say you've got two of them. Well, let's say you've got three of them. Or maybe four of them. All said Radio H3s. Or maybe five of them. I can't hold anymore. <laughs> and a new one, a sixth one. Are they all clean? And is it a good excuse to point to the inside and say, well, there's an FCC ID on the inside. What is that worth? Not much. Now, maybe you've got another TID radio that's an H8 like this one. I've got a couple of different... Um, Baofeng uh, handhelds here in the mix. How do they compare to the Yesu? Name brand, good product, about 180 bucks. How good are all these TID Radio H3s compared to that one? Should you buy the H3? And Let's say you're in LA right now and there's a big fire going on down there and you, and you transmit and you interfere with the fire department on their frequency. Because you get just think of what the command center is having to deal with. Somebody's got to coordinate all those frequencies. They've got to have a, a ton of frequencies that they're using, probably from other cities like Burbank and Glendale and wherever they can get on and you transmit and you interfere with those guys. Can you imagine how much trouble you would be in? If you can't, stay tuned for another episode. I'm going to discuss that. So let's look at these. And then you tell me at the end of it, would you transmit with one of these? And I'll tell you that that label on the inside is worthless. And you transmit. You say, well, I, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know it was interfering. Is that going to be good enough? So watch these tests that I'm going to do. And the last one I'll do is the um, lime green yellow sort of one. And then you tell me if those are clean enough that you would want to transmit with one of those. That you would want to risk your money and your license for a $20 radio or a $30 radio. Watch and then at the end of it comment. Let me know what you think. Would you use one of those handhelds? Alright, here we go. I'm going to test um, 6 and 2 8 9. 9 different transceivers handheld and let's see how they stack up. And would you really want to use one of these? I'll tell you right now. Wouldn't touch them. Wouldn't transmit with them. Um, I bought the uh, all but two of those I purchased. All but two of those I purchased. I didn't get them for free. They weren't sent to me by uh, a company. I bought them and paid for them myself. All right, here we go. Let's do the test and see what you think. 
TID Radio H3 and I'm pressing the PTT button. And you can see the thing puts out garbage all over the place, everywhere. And it does it way up frequency. And then away from the antenna, it, it, did, it didn't matter any. It was still garbage. Here's another H3, pressing the PTT button. And again, garbage everywhere from the fundamental up and down. It couldn't be any dirtier than that. You couldn't make it worse than that. All right, here's another H3. Pressing the PTT button again. Bam, same thing. Maybe not as dirty as the others, but still terrible. Transmitting on all kinds of frequencies at the same time. Here's another H3, hitting the PTT button. And again, it's garbage everywhere. Just embarrassingly bad. Um, I, I wouldn't transmit with one of those for anything. All right, here's another H3. And I'm pressing the PTT button again. And this one's not as bad, but it's still bad. Uh, the second harmonic is down uh, about 25 dB, which is not good enough, not even close. And here's the newest TID radio in its lovely lime green co uh, color. Pressing the PTT button. And again, the second harmonic is down maybe 20 dB. Third harmonic is just about as strong as the second harmonic, so it's just not worth it. Here's an TID Radio H8. In case you think I might be cheating on this, I'm pressing the button on this one. And here we go. Its second harmonic is down about 40 dB, so it's clean enough. This one would meet um, the uh, standards for, from the FCC. Here's a UV5R from Baofeng. And pressing the PTT button again. And you can see the second harmonic is down maybe 10, 15 dB. And it just goes on up from there. Up frequency, I should say. All right. Here is uh, a larger uh, 5 R, uh, Baofeng 5RM hitting the PTT button again. And its second harmonic is almost as strong as the fundamental. It, it's incredible how bad it is. Um, I, I don't know how to get away with it. Now, by comparison, in case you think I've cheated on this, here's a Yesu. And I'm going to hold it up and press the PTT button again after I figure out how to turn it back on. And you can see how clean the transmitter is. The uh, second harmonic is almost zero. Um, it's clean down 50 dB or so. So what are you gonna say when someone knocks at your front door and you've interfered with their emergency communications so please do comment below and subscribe. I'm Jim W6LG, your YouTube Elmer here in Rockland, California. Thanks for watching.